Three minutes about chronic fatigue syndrome. A lot of people have suffered in the last 50 years from chronic fatigue syndrome and this has become the yuppie disease. It became an epidemic and almost everybody today is suffering from a degree of reduction of their energy level. Some of it has to do with their lifestyle uh, issues, drinking alcohol and eating and drinking coffee every day which actually has been proven to reduce your energy instead of increase it. Even if it stimulates you temporarily, it drains you of energy and everything that opens your kidneys like chocolate, coffee and others uh, will also make you depleted of magnesium and other minerals and magnesium is the most important mineral in energy metabolism. So a lot of people today are deficient in magnesium and uh, that alone could cause their mitochondria not to function in producing ATP or energy rich molecules within the cells uh, and that is one reason why so many of us have fatigue. If our mitochondria, those are small organs inside our cells where most of the production of those molecules takes place, if they are depleted in nutrients or if they are attacked by free radicals and if we are deficient in antioxidants and if we are toxic with uh, organic based toxins or environmental toxins, uh, even things that we are exposed to in the home, but especially toxins in the food that we eat. If we don't eat organic food, there are a lot of toxins in the food. And if we eat junk food or fast food, we always are exposed to a lot of toxins. There are heavy metals today, which we are exposed to in large amounts. And uh, we have tests for those and we have special protocols to help people eliminate those heavy metals. So if we go through specific protocols of detoxification of organic toxins, detoxification of heavy metals, improved nutrient status by eating healthier food and eliminating nutrient depleting foods, as well as dealing with other environmental factors such as electromagnetic radiation which we're exposed to, then inevitably people get better. Even people who had chronic fatigue syndrome for two years, three years, or even five years, if they go through the process, they are guaranteed within one to three or four months to get substantially better to the point that they will be actually cured. Chronic fatigue syndrome is just a name, a symptom given to physiological processes that went the wrong way. You put them back into the right way you introduce the concept of wellness and chronic fatigue as a symptom simply disappears.